Hey everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video on ethical hacking series. My name is Indamam and I'm a cybersecurity specialist. In this module, we'll learn about information gathering, also known as reconnaissance, and I'll show you everything that you need to know to enumerate your targets. So in information gathering, we have two types. Number one is passive information gathering, or I would say passive reconnaissance. And number two is active reconnaissance. What is the difference between these two? In passive reconnaissance, we gather the information without interacting with the targets. For example, we use third-party tools to gather the information that is available open to the public. But in active reconnaissance, we gather the information directly interacting with our targets. For example, we use uh, Nmap to gather the information from our host and this is just like an you know active connection between to our target and our source and you know if we are doing uh, passive reconnaissance we're just using uh, open to public information and there is nothing wrong with it but if we do active reconnaissance without any official documentation between the parties then this is going to be a crime now what do we collect in reconnaissance so we collect two types of information in reconnaissance, number one is technical information, and number two is uh, information about the people. Like in technical information, we gather information about the IT infrastructure. And in people information, like it says that we collect information about the people that work in that organization. Now, how do we collect the information about our technical uh, targets? We use different tools, and in this module, I'll be showing you three main tools, and that is OWASP, MS, and Shodan, or Recon NG. And I mean, there are many tools, like for example, Sniper and Multigo, we can use that as well, but I'll be more focused on these three tools. And how do we collect information about people? We use social media like LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, job posting, or any kind of information that is related to any kind of portal that is related to people, we can use that portal to collect the information. In this video, we are going to focus on passive reconnaissance and I'll be using three tools. Number one is uh, OWASP, MS, number two, Shodan, or Shodan, number three, Recon, and G. So if you look at my screen, uh, this is my Kali Linux virtual machine and I created a video on how to create a virtual machine on your Windows machine. I'll put the link of that video in this video so that you can try to create your own, your own lab. So this is my lab environment. You can see this is whenever you log into Kali Linux, you see this interface. So let's go to our command line. Click on this root terminal. And it's going to ask us a password. So let's enter the password. Let me increase the size. And you can zoom in and zoom out with control plus sign or minus sign. The first tool that we're going to look at is uh, OVS MS. So let's first install that tool on Kali Linux. So to install that tool, we'll use this command sudo apt get install. A M A S S. So it says that MS is already new, available on this Kali Linux machine. So I means this is something already available in the Kali Linux machine. Now let's just test the connectivity. If we have that in here, okay, all right. So in this screen, I just I just ran some command like MS hyphen H to see that you know what we can do with it. So over here, it's going to show us all the modules that we can run on with this tool. I mean, we can run Intel module to discover targets for enumeration. We can, you know, use enum uh, module to perform enumeration on network mappings. You know, viz for visualization enumeration, track, track difference between enumerations, and db manipulate the AMS graph database. Let's check one of the modules that we just looked at it. So it was AMS. Let's suppose we want to use this in our. In this, uh, so what I did is I put my command for uh, enumeration module to look at the different options that we can perform with the module. So in this module, it shows us that we can do these things with that module. So we're going to use this module in a bit. 
Now let's suppose we want to enumerate Google. So for example, we have a project from Google to assess their security and going to leverage our MS to, to assess their nobilities and we're going to find the information that is available to the public. So let's just, just run some command on Google's domain, ms, ms enum hyphen t google.com and then hyphen src hyphen ip and I will use hyphen non-recursive because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. So this, what this uh, command is doing, it's going to enumerate google.com and it's going to bring up the source IP and non-recursive means it's not going to provide us, it's just going to provide us the first layer of information in the google.com. So let's press enter. So it says flag provided is not right. So I guess we need to remove this. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to take a pause right here and let's see. We'll be right back. All right. So it took almost five to, uh, I would say five to seven minutes to complete this test. And over here, what we're looking at right now. So we have the source where we get the data from, and we have the website, google.com and their IPs on the back end and the port that are running on the back end. And uh, we have all the sources where the data came from and there are different subdomains in, in google.com right here. So this is just like, you know, we're trying to gather information from for our target that is google.com. So this is just like an activity for uh, just to gather information for our target. Now let's enumerate reverse NS lookup with AMS. So let's just use this command AMS Intel module, the module that we have in there. And then who is hyphen d google.com. And I want to save this result to hyphen, hyphen der google file. This is also going to take some time. So I'm going to put a pause right here and we'll be right back. All right. So in, in reverse uh, DNS lookup, we could see that we have other uh, domains right here that we could find with google.com in reverse lookup uh, command. So this is just like how we got their website related to google.com. So in this uh, exercise, what we'll learn is just like we, we can find the IPs and a related subdomains of a main domain so that we can use that information to target our uh, host during our exploration. So this is just like information gathering number one tool that is MS. And in next Joel, I'll be showing you the next rule, which is going to be show that. Thanks for watching. Let's jump to the next module.